Hey guys, so I was just gonna go to bed, come home and go to bed. I have an order shift tonight, so I'm going, uh, I was gonna, just going to go to bed, come up, not do a book, uh, anything, really. But then, this lovely thing came to me in the mail, and I'm like, I have to open it. So, and it's teasing me, and I've only been home for like five minutes. So, we're gonna open this. Trusty random piece of sharp object. And the crust going slice. Dice. Never get these the uh, up. Great weight. Heck. So, as per usual, it comes in this box. Oop, I just dropped one. The cards on top, which I will take those off. And then bubble wrap on top, which I'm saving. Oop, because I'm moving. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in a safe spot after I'm done making my, my floor. So, ooh, what's in this pouch, this, this box, this time? What do I want to start with? Let's start with this. It's right on top. House of Rituals collection. Uh, the Traveler's Loose Incense. That looks like I want to smell it. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Oh. Moving on. We're in every box. The candle. This one's blue. This I'm, I love these candles. They fit perfectly in my altar uh, candle holders uh, because they're a little bit smaller. Not whereas regular candles, I've got a shape down the end for it. I feel like there's going to be a storm of unboxing because I'm going to do these all at the same time. So I'm going to open this piece of bubble wrap. It's hard doing it kind of trying to hold the box with one hand and the one elbow and the open the container. Ooh, and this is an oil with quite a few herbs in it. Almond oil, jasmine oil, cinnamon oil, uh, calendula, and jasmine flowers. And it is called Dream Walker Anointing Oil. That looks amazing. I loved my other uh, protection oil that I got from them. So this, this is going in my little cabinet of tricks. Okay. Next is this little pouch. It doesn't have any, sometimes they have labels on them saying what's inside, but this one does not. So let's open, oh, it's a little blue from the candle. Can you see that? A little blue from the candle. That's okay. I don't know how many times I've dyed something with the wax from one of my candles. Fighter. Okay. Ooh. Funny enough, today I was just looking at a piece of amethyst. Today, a bigger chunk, but I was admiring it. And that's a raw piece of amethyst right there. One of my favorite stones. So that's a really nice thing. I'm going to put it back in the bag because I use all the bags and the jars and the containers because waste not, what not. So the next thing I'm going to pull out is this. It looks like a jar with more loose incense in it. I can't wait, I can't wait. Again, trying to open the package to hold on the box so that it doesn't, those loose little bits don't spill everywhere. Oh, and that looks like a vial filled with more herbs, but it looks like Lavender. Is that the only one I can differentiate in there for right now? I'm too tired to even try anyway. So, and the last thing in this box, and now I'm covering bits, is this lovely pouch. I love it. Gorgeous. Um, and I'm just going to open it. Set these guys. 
another little wrapped item. I love the bag though. See that? So gorgeous. And this one also wrapped. Oh, this one looks fragile. I don't know if I want to take it out of my bag. And this piece was the one that was in that lovely bag. And I'm going to put that one back in the lovely bag so that it doesn't get wrapped. I'm going to cover it in the Okay, and let's read. And of course, I give you a little couple little cards. So, House of Rituals, Astral Travel and Psychic Awareness. This month's House of Rituals box is designed to give you the tools needed to increase psychic awareness, open your third eye chakra, and begin to practice astral travel. The phenomenon of out-of-body travel comes easy to some, yet is difficult to obtain for others. By clearing the path of your third eye and allowing the free movement of psychic energy, it is a practice anyone can achieve. In this ritual, we use natural magic of the Earth's energies to create a space and aid in our travels. By incorporating the energy of stones, herbs, the moon, and the elements, we are able to set the stage for connecting with other realms. Increasing psychic awareness is a journey with each meditation clearing the path more and more. Trust in the process, the universe, and yourself, and know that the door is opening a little more each time. This is a journey, and it takes time. And it says, please read through the ritual to make sure you've given him anything. And it says ritual tools on the back here. So ritual tools as a ritual candle. Blue is associated with astral travel and psychic development. White can also be substituted for any color as it is void of all color and, <coughs> and is considered pure. Dream walking anointing oil, which is this right here. To ignite the senses and ease your mind in the in-between. Uh, Traveler's Incense, which was the first chair I believe I picked out. This one right here. Uh, mugwort is a powerful magical herb and a favorite for astral travel and opening one's mind. Black Kynet, which was in this bag right here. I thought I recognized that. Uh, a common grounding stone, the energy it carries is helpful in safely returning to the present after any mind or astral travel experiences. The amethyst cluster, which I took out of this brown bag here, which I put back in. Amethyst aids in clearing blockages relating to the third eye chakra, the gateway to psychic awareness, intuitiveness, and astral travel. The black moon bag, which is the bag that the kind came in. Use this as a keeper of your earth items, infused with your energy for safe travels. And the ritual herbs, which is this. Mugwort carries the ancient power of sight and is a powerful herb for astral travel and increasing one's intuitive abilities. Lavender, that's what I thought I saw, is a powerful dream herb. Blended together and infused with energy, they assist in reaching other realms. There you are, and then it shows you a bit on the card of how to do it. I would like to say it again that I do not, they do not pay me <laughs> to say this. I actually genuinely love this box, and I keep subscribing to it, and, um, and I like everything that's inside, uh, and I like showing you guys what I get every month, because it is a neat little show and tell kind of thing because you guys might get uh, boxes and uh, not like certain things they offer uh, but like everything if not most things if not everything that this box has to offer and that gives you more insight into what you want to buy. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Again, I'm going to be spamming you with all of these because I've got another um, Wild Rituals box and a... Um, another box, as well as an Ipsy bag to show you as well. So those are probably before this, but I'm apologizing for the spam in advance.
but not in advance. Anyway, uh, bless you, and keep crafting, witches.